everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to the Let's Play. Ah, come to disturb me in my intro, huh? That's right, get burnt to death. <laughs> so in the last episode, of course, we took down our very first Trial Chamber Dungeon. And don't worry, that is not going to be the only Trial Chamber Dungeon we take down in this world. We have a higher level difficulty version of the Trial Chamber to come very, very soon. And with that comes some far superior loot. So yeah, very much looking forward to revisiting the Trial Chambers in a future episode. For today though, my friends, I want to stick a little bit closer to home and I want to get on with a little build or two. Maybe a couple of basic things that we're going to need going forwards. I'm thinking maybe some animal pens. That could be a nice idea. Idea. A horse stable for our lovely horse that we've got down here. That'd also be a nice idea. All in all, it'll just be nice to expand our base area here, finally, my friends. So, if all of that sounds like your cup of tea, then do be sure to head down beneath the video and spend a second to drop a like. Remember, 1,000 likes is the goal we go for on these videos if you want to continue seeing these episodes daily. You see this large oak tree here? A lot of you folks may be thinking this is in the way of us making progress, but you know what? I would argue the complete opposite. I'm going to make this a little feature of our pathway here. Why not? I mean, we are in a flower forest biome at the end of the day. You can't have a forest without trees. And you may have noticed that I've actually made a special effort to keep all of the large oak trees. I purposely haven't chopped them down because I actually really enjoy them. I like the look of them. So I'm going to go ahead and keep them here. We're going to try and work around them. If we're going to make these trees part of our pathways though, we want to make sure we're doing it properly. So you see that ugly dirt sliver underneath the tree here? No, 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 no. We don't have none of that in our world here. No. If we're going to do something, we're going to do it well. You know what else has been going well lately, my friends? The amount of support you guys have been showing this season and this series. I really do appreciate all of the love in the form of the likes, comments, and subscriptions lately. Now, of course, if you don't want to miss out on my future content, do consider subscribing to the channel with those bell notifications turned on. And don't forget, if you do want to go one further with the support all through May 2024, if you head on over to pythongb.com slash PC, you can actually get a whopping 10% discount when you use my discount code Python. So then, I think what we should do is maybe lay out the foundations. Oh, it's just started raining. What great timing that is. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to start off by laying out the footprint of our little stables build here. I'm thinking maybe one side we could have our horse and then the other side we could have ourselves a bunch of cows. I think that'd be a nice way to go. So then, it's going to be a reasonably small build actually so how's about we make a start on it pretty much straight away and in keeping with the surroundings we're gonna be opting for some birch wood and yes we will be stripping this birch wood don't you worry because yeah as you can see we've got stripped birch wood here as well we're basically trying to use roughly the same block palette for the builds around here. Because I feel like it allowed a little bit of uniformity to our season three base area here. <laughs> Already the build has come crashing to a halt because guess what? Once again, I don't have enough coal. I need to smelt up this cobblestone because I want to get some more stone bricks going. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I really can't wait until we get fortune finally. So I guess we're taking our horsey. We're going to see if we can't find ourselves a bunch of coal. The good news is I am pretty sure there is like a stony shores biome. In fact, here it is. Yeah, these places are great for surface ores. And as you can see, it really is. We've got coal, coal, copper, coal, iron. Yeah. I like how my horse is just chilling, watching me work. Oh, no, okay. But apparently my work doesn't deserve an audience. I mean, I'm just here chipping away. Uh, look at him. He's just walking away, having the time of his life, enjoying the freedom. Enjoy it while you can, horsey. I will return to get you in a moment. Wait a minute. Lots of stone high up. That's got to be a good place to get a bunch of coal and iron, right? Surely. Ha! Huh. Okay, maybe we'll check that out in just a minute. For now, though, I am going to completely wipe out all of the ores that are at this stony shore here. One of these days, my friends, I will never have to worry about getting coal ever again. Because one of these days, I might just try and make myself a hyper-efficient with a skeleton farm. 
Yeah, that'd be a good way to get a bunch of coal, eh? And the best thing is, it would largely be a streamed project because to make a hyper efficient with a skeleton farm, you're gonna be needing to place down quite a lot of buttons or remove a whole bunch of terrain surrounding a nether fortress. But honestly, you know what? As much as that would take a ridiculous amount of time, it gives me an opportunity to interact more with you folks in stream. So, yeah. What do you guys think about that? I think that's a pretty cool idea. Random side note, there is a ginormous deposit of gravel here. And this is fantastic. Because eventually, when I start work on my lighthouse, as suggested by you folks... Yeah, I'm going to be needing quite a lot of concrete. And of course, gravel is used to make concrete. So yeah, look at this. We've got a whole bunch over here as well. <laughs> All right. Oh my God, Armadillo. Oh, I scared it, the poor little mite. <laughs> okay, very good. If we were to come back here in future with a brush, I might just be able to get a scoop from this guy. Oh, okay. And there's just a random one on the floor. I always forget that these guys just randomly shed scoots every now and again. Oh, look at that. There's yet another one. And another scoot. Don't mind if I do. All right. So here we are. Up this tippity top mountain here. Oh, look at it. There's coal everywhere. There's emeralds as well. Oh, okay. This, my friend, is going to be a lovely place to come visit if we want in resources. The thing is, though, we've got nearly two stacks of coal. So I think that's going to keep us going for a fairly all right amount of time. Hopefully, up until we get fortune, then we can come back here and start fortune mining all of the surface ores and get ourselves even more resources. There you go. That's your outing for the episode, Mr. Horse. Let's go ahead and get some of this stone smelted. So for the roof, I'm thinking a nice basic a frame roof. When you realize that a build for animals is going to be far taller than the house for yourself. <laughs> I mean, that's about right, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, what can I say? I care about the welfare of my animals in this game. And you know what? We're actually going to give all of the animals a proper life of luxury in here. I'm even going to go to the lengths of adding in skylights for either side. So yeah, you can't possibly tell me that I don't care for my animals and I don't care about their accommodation. <laughs> Am I the only one thinking that this is such a tall building we might even be able to squeeze something in the attic there? Oh, do you know what? I've just had a really genius idea. I wonder if we could squeeze in an automatic chicken cooker, right? I mean, that's a pretty cool idea, right? So yeah, we've got cows, we'll have ourselves our horse, and then up top, we've got ourselves a chicken cooker. And yeah, I know, I know, the whole notion of caring about my animals, and here I am talking about having a chicken cooker. Yeah. I mean, I've got to sustain myself, right? <laughs> So let's try and figure this out, shall we? What do we need for a chicken cooker? We're going to be needing a dispenser, which is going to have all of the eggs, which are hatched by chickens who are residing on top of our hopper, I believe. The baby chickens are going to reside on a bottom half slab, and then there's going to be a lava source. So actually, we might need a second dispenser. Good news is, we've got plenty of string from that trial chamber in the last episode. <laughs> Thankfully, we've got a bunch of iron in the last episode as well. So we should be able to make ourselves a few hoppers. I believe two is the magic number we're looking for, but I could be wrong with that. So I'm going to make three. Always better to go in over prepared than under, right? If I can remember how to do this without having to refer back to a tutorial, I don't know what to tell you. I, I think we are breaking new grounds here. Only my memory, of course, is... Usually pretty terrible. So this is going to be where the baby chickens reside when they grow up Then there's going to be some lava dispensed above them So only the adult chickens will wind up getting burnt and then obviously their drops will go through the slab into the hopper and into the output chest So it's gonna be a dispenser Pointing into the slab there, which means the eggs should wind up hitting the slab Any chickens that wind up hatching from the eggs will just wind up sitting on here and then a Above it, another dispenser, and this one's going to hold the lava bucket. The skylights are now in, and now we can start going at it with the glass. We're going to have some glass rather like this, so obviously the chickens can't escape. Well, hello there, buddy. How's it hanging? Oh, 
Do you know what? I actually really want that. We can have access to a new type of wood. We haven't found a cherry biome so far in this season. Yeah, I like that idea. Pretty sure we got ourselves a bunch of emeralds. Look at that, 58. That is just incredible. All right, buddy, come on. You're about to have a customer here. All right, here we go. Boosh. Wow, that's most of my emeralds gone. <laughs> All right, well, the good news is we've got eight cherry saplings out of that. Was that a bit excessive? Uh, yes, simple answer. I could have done with just one of them and then farmed it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I kind of regret that now. When you realize you don't actually need a second dispenser for the lava bucket because you could just put the lava down itself. Although, we have a lot of wood around here. And obviously, lava and wood, they don't really mix, do they? So I'm going to have to see if I can't do some testing to ensure that this whole place won't wind up burning down. Ah, rats. I've just realized that one of the other redstone components I do need is a comparator. A couple of repeaters is another thing I need. But yeah, the comparator, that requires quartz. It's not even like I can use an observer to detect when eggs go into this dispenser either. Because that also requires quartz in the recipe, doesn't it? Here I am trying to make a smushed away way fancy redstone chicken cooker and my progress has been halted by the fact I haven't made enough progress in the game. <laughs> All right, so that means I need to grab myself some obsidian. Was it a bit excessive of me to head pretty much all the way back to the swamp just to refine this lava pool? Uh, probably. <laughs> but here we are. We've got obsidian. Let's start chopping it up. I mean, it's going to take years to do so, but it's going to be worth it. We're going to see what kind of nether spawn we managed to get after taking a bit of a snooze. Yeah, I just did that in the nighttime, and surprisingly, I didn't die, so I guess I should give myself that, eh? <laughs> but anyways, here we are. Uh, do we or do we not have a flint and steel? I seem to recall finding a flint and steel in the chest previously. Apparently, I didn't have the foresight to take it with me. All right, never mind. The good news is we do have a bit of flint, so there we are. All right, here's what I'm thinking. Temporarily, at least, I think we're just going to put the portal down here up until we manage to figure out some sort of build idea for the nether portal for our season three area of the world. All right, shield back on, portal activated. Let's roll on through here and let's see what we have. Where, oh, where are we going to wind up? Uh, okay. Is it anywhere I recognize? Not really. There's a basalt delta over there. There's a ghast on the floor. And here we are. One bit of quartz. That is all. Quickest nether trip in history? I think so. It's utterly crazy that we managed to survive our first little nether session here in season three, eh? <laughs> he says, having survived about, what, 15, maybe 20 seconds in the nether. I feel unstoppable now. Like, seriously, I feel like I could take down 20 dragons at the same time. All right, we're going to put this quartz to good use. There it is, the redstone comparator. Uh, I need myself a couple of repeaters, I do believe, as well. And actually, that should just about be it. So then, redstone comparator on subtract mode. Then I believe it's going to be a redstone repeater pointing into this cobblestone block, which will inadvertently power this dispenser thus dispensing chicken eggs. Ah, frustratingly, I believe what I need to do is have the redstone in this formation. But it does mean we have hit the wall. Ah, uh, not entirely sure what we're going to do about this. Also, not entirely sure what we're going to do about those dudes over there. But hold on a minute. Since Bad Omen now comes in bottle form, does that or does that not mean... I can take these guys down, including the chief dude with the banner. Can I take those guys down now without them giving me bad omen? I have absolutely no idea. I think that's something we might want to try. So then, come on then, buddy. Get absolutely ruined. Boom. Ruined. Oh. Whoa. Bad omen four? That is the bottle that guy just gave me? Bad Omen 4. So can you get like all the different Bad Omen bottles from those guys? You just get like a random one per time. 
Only Bad Omen 4 is kind of crazy, isn't it? It's the second to highest Bad Omen level you can get, I believe. But yeah, there you go, my friends. You no longer directly get the Bad Omen effect from taking down Pillager Patrols. And I'm sure that will give a lot of you folks a big old breath of relief. So yeah, definitely a big old up there for the Minecraft 1.21 update. All right, temporarily, I'm going to use Oak Saplings to dispense. So if I was to put them in there... Yeah, as you can see, working an absolute treat. Okay, I just need to figure out a way of compacting the redstone a little bit, perhaps? What if I was to just add a little bit of a decorative feature? I wonder if we could just add in a little bit of a planter box just sort of outside here. Maybe put down a flower pot or two there. And then, in the meantime, there is indeed a gap up here. And actually, I can get all of the redstone bits and bobs in. So again, that goes right there, that goes right there, and then the rest of it is all like that. Yeah. So then, the cedar chickens, that being the ones that lay the eggs to go into the dispenser, they will all reside on top of this hopper here. We can add in a block rather like that. The lava would go against this glass block here, and then obviously we would try to enclose it all in. But, as I was mentioned before, I'm a little bit concerned about fire safety, if I'm honest. If there is a solid block between the lava and what would otherwise be a flammable block, would the flammable block still be set alight? I don't know. I guess all we could do, my friends, is experiment. And um, this is gonna be a dangerous experiment because, you know, I don't really want this to burn down, but if it burns down, then it burns down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and would you look at that? We don't even need to go into the nether realms to get ourselves the lava source. We can nick it from there. And actually, killing two birds with one stone once again, we've just made this cave a whole lot safer to descend into. All right, lava chucked in. And now my nerves are going absolutely crazy. Pretty sure I have entirely encased that lava with glass, though, or some other form of solid block. We should... Be okay. Should being the operative word. Now to add a whole bunch of stairs here for the little animal enclosures. We've got to defend this place from these invaders. Have a little bit of a snooze to usher in a new day. Add in the fence gate so we can actually, you know, contain the animals. Gotta add in some fences, of course. I'm even gonna add in some birch trap doors just so I can hide away the rest. Redstone. There we are. I think that's looking all right. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Quick! Quick! Python! Quick! Ascend! Ascend! Oh, good grief! Wait! 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 Stop! 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 No! 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 You do not get to set my stuffs on fire. That's a big fat no no. Unbelievable. Okay, so this can still catch a light. Right. I mean, we could always revert to our original plan of having ourselves a dispenser with a lava bucket in there, just so it only sort of sends out a pulse and then immediately retracts the lava. That's probably a safer way to go. I think I may have something here. All I did was add a bit of redstone here going into this, which inadvertently powers this dispenser, which now has a lava bucket in it. And if I was to just do a quick test run, let's say we put that in there, it pulses real quick. Ah. Ah, okay. That's absolutely perfect. <laughs> I thought I'd have to make like a whole other redstone circuit, but no. Completely unnecessary. So just adding in a few finishing touches. We've got some lanterns going on. And inside the pens, as much as there isn't much of a skylight anymore, there still is a skylight, right? I mean, any light is better than no light, right? And what we've essentially done is completely hidden the redstone and indeed the chicken cooker from the underneath part. So no one who is in these pens down here will ever know what's going on upstairs. Only if they knew what was going on, they would all run a mile. And how about this for a smart storage solution? A barrel under the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> so when we manage to do a bit of a cow culling, we can put all of the leather and their produce in this barrel barrel. Obviously, you know, the horse. We're not going to be doing anything with the horse aside from just storing it in here. Although, I have just realized a rather more basic problem. 
Uh, the entrance is not wide enough. Not even slightly. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I swear. Sometimes I think there is something actually wrong with me. So then, my friends, what are we thinking about this build, eh? <laughs> I think... It's pretty darn awesome. And I also think we've made good usage out of the space we've got going on. I can't believe we actually managed to fit an automatic chicken cooker in the roof area here. That is just brilliant, isn't it? All right, very good. Now to start populating the new stable. So here we are. We'll put the horse in hither. Very, very nice. I feel like we should give this guy some long grass, maybe a little feeding trough. We'll quickly grab out some wheat and lure some of the nearby cows on these hills here. We'll lure them down into the pen. Ooh, an eggy. The more of those bad boys we get, the higher the chance we'll get loads of cedar chickens. Come on then, cowsies. Let's get you in your new home. And we've bred them up as well. Oh, right, fantastic. Now then, I think we should have a bit of a roam around for some eggs. Eggies. Only for some reason, there seems to be quite a lot of farm animals up at the top of these forested hills. So I imagine if I just run around long enough and explore enough, then we should find an egg or two, hopefully. Here we are. Random egg on the floor there. And another one. And another two. Fifteen. And 16. All right, a full stack of eggs. Is that going to be enough to hatch us a chicken or two? Oh, I certainly hope so. This is going to wind up being one of those projects that's uh, ever evolving, isn't it? Only, you know, the more eggs you have, the more cedar chickens you have, the more cedar chickens you have, the more eggs that are being dispensed into the kill chamber area, right? It might even be worth me trying to make an egg producer. All right, so we've got 17 eggs. Are we going to have any cedar chickens? Ah, oh, come on. Are you actually kidding? I just threw 17 eggs. We didn't get a single chicken. They know. They just know, don't they? They do. They're smarter than they look. For now, though, my friends, I am more than happy in calling this build and mini project complete. So, my friends, let's wrap up today's episode, of course, with the comment of the day. Ansh Rishi says, loot the copper python and make a mega base. You have the materials now. Of course, they're referring to the trial chambers containing quite a lot of copper. Yes, absolutely. And to be fair, with the Survival Saturday streams returning this week, I think that might wind up being the first thing we do. We'll head back down to the trial chamber and we're going to start breaking it apart. I want a whole bunch of resources because the eventual lighthouse build that we're going to be making over there, the enchanting lighthouse, I think was suggested, it is going to contain a good amount of copper blocks in the block palette. Only I've actually already designed the lighthouse and a created test one. And I'm very excited to actually build it on this world here. So yeah, my first Survival Saturday stream coming up. We're going to be heading down to the Trial Chambers dungeon and we are going to start dismantling it. I just hope that we don't wind up like accidentally activating a whole bunch of spawners and dying and such. That'd be embarrassing, wouldn't it? <laughs> but yeah, all of that is to come, my friends. For now, though, it is time to wrap up the episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, and of course you're excited to see more, please do be sure to drop a like if you haven't already. Hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content. Let me know your feedback regarding the build that we have made in today's episode in the comments area down below. I mean, personally, I think having a chicken cooker in the top there is a stroke of genius. We just need to get some chickens in there, I guess. Maybe that's something we can do in stream as well. Just roam around searching for chicken eggs. But yeah, for now, my friends, thank you so much for watching. We're going to wrap it up as we have been doing for a few episodes now by having a ruddy good snooze. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for all of your support. And I'll see you folks in the next one. Bye-bye.